Campaigns underway to raise awareness about family violence and nationwide crisis. Groups of men and women are going into communities around New Zealand, opening themselves up and reliving their painful memories in public in an effort to help stop abuse. But are these types of small campaigns working when New Zealand has the worst family violence record in the developed world? We went to Huntley to find out. Carmen Pata, he explains. Just 8,000 people live in Huntley, but community leaders have recognised they have a problem on their hands and need to deal with it. So family violence in Huntley is pretty prevalent. Um, it's normalised really. Um, it just happens. It's part of life. Basically it's probably affected um, generations. Since November last year, Huntley has committed to stopping violence by recruiting 26 locals and training them up to help. Their main role was if people approached them that uh, they were to connect them with the professionals that uh, dealt with family violence. Police claim since December last year, their work, combined with the community's efforts, has reduced Huntley's family violence statistics by approximately 30%. We seem to be getting reductions inside of family violence because community leaders uh, have stepped up and, and said no to it. To support this work further, two hui have been held in Huntley. The first in June confronted men about their own violence. And the second we were allowed to film at was for women who challenged themselves to speak up. And I just looked at him and said, you do not hurt people you love. And you will never, ever lay your hands on me again. This is the first time social worker Sally Raymond has shared her domestic violence story publicly. She travelled from Northland to Huntley to help others here. So what happens a lot of time is we people sit there and go... She loves it, she loves it, she just keeps going back. She loves we don't love it. We don't love it. We just don't know what we don't know. We don't know where to go, we don't know what we're gonna do, we don't know how we're gonna be left with our children, we don't know. Don't be scared. Now a grandmother, Sally spent 20 to 25 years in abusive relationships with men, and her children witnessed the violence. I have damaged my children. I showed my children that that was OK. The call to women hui was very emotional for participants who shared their pain with each other as they tried to make sense of their experiences. Some of the participants in Sally admitted their own children are now trapped in a negative cycle started by them. Knowing that she has your support and your love and it's unconditional and that door's always open is the best thing you can give her right now. Sally's deepest regret is she hurt her children by showing them abuse was OK. She warns other women who stay in abusive relationships not to do the same. The physical scars will always heal, you know, you can get patched up, you can get stitches, you know, and the hair grows back, but the emotional scars and they're the things that, that, that worry me the most and they're the things that I don't want to see continue throughout any more generations. Goddess of fire, bring forth your soul and your loving. Musician Ricky Harueda launched his song Goddess in Huntley and dedicated it to women struggling in abusive relationships. There's so much stories about domestic violence in New Zealand. We're, we're, we're all affected so greatly by domestic violence. And it's my strongest wish that this plays a role in helping the community to be more conscious of the effects of um, domestic violence and how we can help women rise, rise out of, of, of domestic violence. Ricky's been working to change his own ways of dealing with anger. I attend uh, anger management weekly to address better ways to express my anger, especially in heated situations. You know, just trying to manage manage um, our emotions as men better. His partner Flossie has suffered from abuse in the past, and both admit they have to work at their relationship, but humour helps them. 
he is constantly having to reassure me that, that it's okay, it's okay, you know, you can be brave here, I've got your back, I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to thump you, I'm not going to start intimidating you. But um, that, I suppose, is where your anger management schools have come in, haven't it? Hasn't it? Yeah, um, I don't want to hurt nobody. <laughs> da, 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 da. I don't want to hurt nobody, <laughs> no more, no more, yeah. She gave me this ultimatum. You start making some changes or I'm going to leave you. And my first reaction to her was this. If you leave me, I'm going to kill you. Phil Pike here has a story of violence. He works for the It's Not OK national campaign, sharing his experiences with mainly men around New Zealand. During my, my, my time of gang membership, uh, there were many violent episodes, uh, not just on my, my uh, partner at the time, but on members of the public and uh, other gang members. Um, they were random acts of violence. Phil says he grew up in a violent home, similar to the movie scenes from Once Were Warriors. He ran away from home when he was 16. He still gets emotional when he remembers the abuse. Although I loved my father, um, I uh, was a victim of uh, my father's abuse, uh, verbal and physical. And I guess that I was taught wrong, and, I, and so I believed wrong. Phil used to be in the Black Power Gang. It was a violent life for him and his girlfriend until she left him. A judge gave him one last chance to change. Phil married his girlfriend, became a Christian, and together they worked to change their lives. He's honest about how bad he was. I just realised how much a prick I was by just, just taking advantage of her, taking advantage of that situation and thinking it was my right to do that shit. But it wasn't. It's not OK. Phil shared his story with hundreds of blokes from all walks of life this year, including at many marae across the country. He's talked about his crimes in front of cops. He's told rival gang members why he left the black power and shared his history of violence with army soldiers. I still make mistakes. I still get angry. But um, I, I, I've learned that anger is an emotion and it's how you use that anger. You can use it to intimidate people. Uh, you can use it to hurt people, but I've learned uh, I've learned uh, new tools that when I do get angry, I go for a walk. Uh, when I do get angry, I recognise that anger, I own it, and I and there I have no victims when it comes to my anger. In 2009, Phil started a new gang, the White Ribbon Bikies, who ride out annually campaigning against family violence. I didn't have very good role models growing up. So all, all I knew was that uh, um, this, uh, th this is how you deal with uh, conflict. And if anyone gives you lip power, then you, you shut them down that way. But I, I, can, I can guarantee you that, uh, um, that the, the cycle of family violence has been broken in my family. Nothing else finish with that. No, oh, I'm sorry. In 2014, there were 102,000 family violence investigations, an increase of 40,000 since 2006. Phil says the numbers prove the campaigns are working because more people are reporting. There are a lot of people that poo-poo the idea about these campaigns, the White Ribbon Ride, the Not OK campaign, all these campaigns going on, and you have your haters. And, um, but I, I, I believe that they are making a difference. And at least, at least we're not sitting on our fingers, sitting on our hands and doing nothing. And you've got to start somewhere. Family violence campaigners in Huntley believe the public has responded so well to the It's Not OK programme, they will be extending it for another year. If you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. It's time for change. Okay, so if you're concerned, you can get help from these numbers. Rape crisis, 0800 883300. Women's Refuge, 0800 733 843. And the Victims Information Helpline, 0800 650 654.